When you look at diagrams of the solar system, it's hard to understand the true distances between the planets. The true scale is almost incomprehensible. I'll try to put it into perspective in this video. Let's start with the moon. When you look up at the moon, it seems pretty close, right? Maybe like this. Actually, it's a little farther. Keep going. Even farther. It's this far. It's 240,000 miles away. Interestingly, the sun is about 400 times as large as the moon, but also about 400 times as far away, making them appear the same size to us in the sky. This is the reason we're able to see perfect solar eclipses. It's a complete coincidence that this happens, and it may be one of the only places in the observable universe that this occurs. The sun is on average about 93.4 million miles from the Earth. This is defined as one astronomical unit. Even at the speed of light, it would take eight minutes to travel from the sun to the earth. This distance feels unimaginably large to us humans, but on a cosmic scale, it's tiny. Let's try to put the true scale of the solar system into perspective here. If the sun were the size of a basketball sitting at one end zone on an American football field, this is how far away just the first four terrestrial planets would be, with earth sitting about 86 feet away. It would only be the size of a tiny pebble, just 0 0.088 inches in diameter. To get to the next planet, Jupiter, we actually need to leave the field. It would lie about 445 feet away from the basketball. Nearly doubling that distance to 820 feet, we would find Saturn. Doubling again to 1,645 feet would be where the planet Uranus would orbit. Finally, Neptune, being the farthest planet from the sun, would lie half a mile away, 2,580 feet. Everyone's seen the movies where the spaceship is in an epic chase flying through the asteroid belt, narrowly dodging asteroids left and right. It's easy to believe that this is what it would look like in real life. In reality, it's mostly just empty space. If you were standing on an asteroid, it'd be nearly impossible to see another asteroid nearby. They vary greatly in size. NASA estimates there are between 1.1 and 1.9 million asteroids larger than one kilometer, with some being as small as just one meter across, Ceres being the largest and first asteroid ever discovered, with a diameter of nearly 1,000 kilometers. Today, it's actually considered a dwarf planet. Similarly, the rings on Saturn look very dense when viewed at a distance, but up close, everything is very far away. The scale of the solar system is unimaginably large to us tiny humans. Zooming out even farther, past Neptune, past the nearest star, this is how tiny our little cosmic neighborhood is compared to the entirety of the Milky Way. We are just one of 100,000 million stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, with the Milky Way being one of about 125 billion galaxies all with billions of stars themselves. I'll leave you with my favorite quote from Carl Sagan. Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner, in the history of our species lived there, on a moat of dust, suspended in a sunbeam.